Well, of course, the last time we seen Sudi, he was fighting Bronco Wright, and it was a very controversial fight um, that ended in a double disqualification, double knockout. So, Sudi will be. The action starts straight away. Eddie Tongalei, of course, has fought many times before. And a, a very good professional that doesn't fight much in New Zealand now, Rebel. No, um, Eddie had to be one of the, the best international fighters in the country at the moment. He's fought some of the best fighters around the world. He's fought in Asia, um, in Hong Kong and China. He's, um, he's been fighting for a long time and he's beaten some um, good ties in New Zealand. Uh, he's given away experience and his opponent, the Thai boy, is giving away a little bit of weight. So it's, it kind of evens out. Um, but this should be quite an exciting fight. and. Um, It'd be a, a, like a traditional Thai kickboxing fight with knees in the later part of the rounds um, and some um, high kicks and leg kicks in the beginning parts of the round. Sudi has got that very relaxed style, hasn't he? So he fights very relaxed, he, uh, he's almost happy to be in there, he's, he's very relaxed, he's smiling at the beginning of the, of the fight, as he was in the previous fight we saw a few months back, but um, he's going to have, he's going to find a harder fight with Eddie than he did with the Bronco, because um, although Eddie's a Kiwi, he fights very much like a Thai, as we there see uh, a leg kick taking the uh, Thai CD down. speed by Eddie Tangalehi. Yeah, Eddie's been working on his hands for the last um, maybe a year and a half and that's been special attention on his hands and it's starting to pay off tonight. Uh, he's been doing a bit of training there with um, Kevin Barry Jr., um, a medalist at the Olympics. But he's been doing a serious hard training down at the Lee Guard Gym, down, down the city gym there on Beach Road. and a lot of skill. Eddie's fought in China, Hong Kong, Macau. He's a professional boxing trainer, trains boxers, and uh, 15 wins, two draws, five losses in his career. His last fight was actually a loss. Uh, that was in uh, China, a third round TKO and he's only been stopped twice in his career but he's stopped eight opponents so he knows how to finish a fight early and he'll be trying to do the same here again tonight Sooty on the other hand he's had 20 wins one draw and five losses he's never ever been stopped he's only only time was the disqualification and his knockout was out after the bell and if you want to see that one you'll have to get combat videos Muay in May because that's something worth seeing uh, he's stopped 10 of his opponents, so he also can finish a fight, given the opportunity. Round 2. Eddie the Heat, Tongalei in the black shorts, Suti, Pornakam in the red and blue. Excitement building, waiting for the main event. 
between Mike Thunderkick McDonald, the challenger, and of course our very own Ray Sugarfoot Seppo. Eddie the Heat, turning the heat on right from round two. Good straight punches. He stung him. He stung Sooty. Strong start to round two, Rebel. Yeah, they pick it up from round two onwards. They've had a filling out round, and now um, Eddie's, Eddie's going to work. Eddie looking very confident in there. Working well with the hands. He's just uh, punching Sadi at will here. Oh, double right. Yeah. Double straight right. That was good. Um, Sadi had, had uh, Eddie's leg in his hand, but Eddie got some punches away and used that to uh, his advantage. Very shifty work. Watch, watch Eddie move in with some big leg kicks. Oh, no need for a leg kick because he just gave Sadi an uppercut. He's not going to get up, I don't, he, he, he can't make it. Caught with a beautiful uppercut. He's going to make it through his feet, but too late. Eddie the Heat, Tommy Lee. Brilliant hand speed. Yeah, good punching power there. And um, that's a sign, Eddie's back. Because Eddie, Eddie's been um, away for a little while, but he's back tonight. And it looks like he's back in good form and good shape. Good to see Sooty back on his feet. think that all the running and the saunas were worth it because he's got the belt that he wanted.